When the players first started talking about the idea of the digital concert hall, it was, to me, just completely obvious that this was going to be the future. We've all been thinking over these last years, how will people want to receive art in their own houses? Uh, and as we watched, for instance, Tower Records and Blockbuster's videos close in New York, we more and more thought that, of course, people are just expecting this to be there, like, like water, uh, that they will use it when they need it, and that more and more in future, it will not be on little computer screens, it will obviously be on big screens, there will be all types of different art forms, films, you name it, going into people's houses. And we should be able to give them the experience of our music as well. You know, maybe the day of the classical recording industry as we have known it is drawing to a close and there's really a new window opening. And what struck me as so important is people want to be part of these live events. And if you can't be there, the idea that you can plug into something that is happening in real time is very important. Also, I can't stress enough how different this particular orchestra is, because when people can see the orchestra, they see this very extraordinary physical connection that they have with their instruments, how they move. And when it works really well, it can work like waves in an ocean, this kind of amazing organic motion, which one sees in very, very few places. One of the things I'm very excited about is the actual sheer quality of what everybody's been able to put together not only in terms of the sound, which is almost a given, but also in terms of the, the accuracy uh, of the picture quality. It may be some time before everybody's equipment can actually catch up with the quality uh, that we have. Uh, but my God, does it show detail. We're all going to have to be very careful with our, our facial hair and our bright red noses. But well, part of it is that everything is of a level uh, where we can be actually ahead of the curve, uh, not behind it. I think it's very exciting, and I think it will be a huge moment of expansion for the orchestra and its audiences, and we feel then we can welcome an even bigger family here into the Philharmonie. Now, of course, something like this doesn't come cheap or easy or quickly and we have some angels in the form of the Deutsche Bank who have really had the vision to give us the seed money to make this start. They've been our collaborators for many many years. The reason we are able to do such wide-ranging education programs for instance is entirely to do with Deutsche Bank. Without them it would be unthinkable. Frankly without Deutsche Bank this project would also be unthinkable. And once again, they are helping to propel us into the future. So bless them. These halos you can see around them suits them. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a little bit strange for me to sit here and welcome you without actually seeing you. But on the other hand, this was the whole idea of the Digital Concert Hall, that wherever you are in the world, you can be in the Philharmonie in Berlin. Welcome to the Berliner Philharmonica. Welcome to our concerts. You can be part of our extended family and enjoy us in real time. Wherever you are, we send our warmest greetings and we just wish you to enjoy. Thanks for being with us.